Mido shocked the world with the release of the new Multifert TV, a retro-inspired watch. Most of you probably don't remember, but OTBs were huge. They were a big black rectangular box with rounded edges. But now, why would Mido take inspiration on color TVs? Well, it's easy. They were probably the invention of the century. They were a synonym for innovation and technology. People actually thought they were living in the future with these things. And I mean, they were. I might anger the people at Mido with what I'm about to say, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention the elephant in the room. The first model of the Mido TV series was launched in 1973. So that being 50 years ago, it made sense to release some new versions of this watch to celebrate. And they decided to celebrate the Mido TV with a homage to the Patek Philippe Nautilus. I know firsthand that Mido CEO goes wild when mentioned this, but come on. Look at the version with the orange strap. Are you going to tell me that they look completely different? The vessel is finished exactly the same way, high polish on the sides, brush on the face, the gradient on the dial, the orange strap. Come on. Well, yes, they look alike. Is that a bad thing? Well, eh, you tell me. Like, you know, I can see the similarities between the Aquanaut and the TV Big Date, it's obvious. But also, if I squint really hard, like really, really hard, I can see the similarities between the vintage version and the new version of the Mido TV. But is it a good watch? Let's find out. The design is a modern reiteration of the vintage TV aesthetic. The dial is often the first thing that catches attention, with its structure details and balance in its finishes. It has a linear texture combined with a grey to black gradient. It actually becomes much more interesting when seen up close. It even reminds me of when static appeared in old TVs. The finishing on the case and bezel are actually pretty good, with high shine finishing on the sides and brushed in the face. The case is crafted to complement the wrist, providing a touch of sophistication while remaining versatile enough to suit both casual and formal wear. The Mortifer TV is equipped with a middle caliber 80, a reliable movement with 80 hours of power reserve, anti-magnetic properties and good precision. Quality materials form the sturdy backbone of the middle Multifort series. With a stainless steel case that resists corrosion and a sapphire crystal that resists scratches, the Multifort TV is built to preserve its appearance and functionality against everyday wear and tear. The 40mm rectangular case feels big, but that doesn't mean that middle does not compromise on comfort. The ergonomics of the Multifort TV ensures it sits well on the wrist with a weight that feels substantial without being burdensome. The bracelet has the advantages of its integrated counterparts. It is particularly comfortable, but it has the advantage to be able to swap it out for a rubber strap, which does not come included. My favorite part of the watch is the big date display, and the way it changes it's mesmerizing. Mido, with its nearly century of watchmaking history, brings a rich heritage to the Multifort line. The TV model is infused with the brand spirit of innovation and has a story that watch enthusiasts and collectors appreciate. The retail price of this watch comes up to 1,250 US dollars, which, Jesus, it's a bit steep in my opinion. Now, I have to be honest, I have a close friend that bought this watch and two weeks later, the date change stopped working. My friend was so frustrated that he just wanted his money back, even though Mido offered a brand new watch. I know, maybe it's a bit of an overreaction, but more than a thousand dollars is a lot of money, so I also understand why my friend wanted nothing to do with it. And since I've heard of a lot of people that are taking the Multifort TV back because of problems with the date change. The Multifort TV offers a compelling package of looks, quality and function at a price that's competitive in its segment. In conclusion, the Miro Multifort TV is a good looking timepiece. 
it yeah it i mean it looks like a, an aquanaut it may take its inspiration from a patek or from the first versions of the Mito tb but it's a good looking timepiece the finishing is what you would expect from a timepiece over a thousand dollars i wish it came with the extra rubber strap if i were to buy it which i won't i would actually wait for a discount is it worth it i don't really know what i know is that this watch is not for me but is it for you leave it down in the comments